Hi, God bless everyone. So I thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity to address the church with this vision that he gave me. Thank you, Father, in Jesus name. Amen. So I had this vision a while ago. I can't tell you how long ago it was. I believe it was this past Sabbath or it might have been the Sabbath before this past Sabbath. But anyway, I knew I was in prayer and I went into this vision and I saw myself walking on water. There was a boat to my right and I knew that I had gotten out of that boat and I was wearing a beautiful dress. To me, it looked like my dress might have been black, but it was so dark outside and I'll explain that in a minute. So I'm not sure what color my dress was. It might have been black. I'm not sure, but it was a really beautiful flowing dress. And I love my dress and I was walking on this water and Jesus was standing in front of me. When I first started walking, when I got out of the boat, I looked down at my feet and I saw the water, how it would come up and it would cover my feet. And I knew this water was deep, very deep. And when the water would cover my feet like that, I literally felt it. I mean, this was a vision, but I felt this water on my feet. And when I looked at it, it was really dark water because it was really dark outside. And I knew that the water represented the kingdom of darkness. I had a knowing of that, that it represented demonic attacks. It represented fear. And they wanted me to drown in that fear, drown in demonic attacks and things of that nature. So I looked at my feet briefly. Then I looked up and I saw Jesus standing in front of me and he was quite a distance away. He wasn't like in the movies when they show him only like maybe 10 feet away, 7, 10 feet away. No, he was quite a distance away. I would say like a block or two away. And so anyway, I'm looking at him. And as I'm looking at him, I told him, I said, I will focus on you. I am focused on you. And I'm not going to look to the left or the right. And I'm not going to look down at my feet again. I'm not going to look at the waters. I'm focused on you. And I wanted to run. But then he told me telepathically to walk. So I had to walk slowly. And I had to keep my eyes focused on him. And he was very authoritative. Very serious. And as I'm walking towards him, I'm noticing that it is pitch black outside. I mean, it was so dark. That's why the water was dark. That's why I'm not even sure if my dress was black because it was just really dark. And even the Lord himself, even though I saw him from quite a distance away, he was almost like a shadow because it was so dark outside. It might have been a little light from the moon, maybe a little from the stars, but It was just really, really dark outside. And I said to Jesus telepathically, why is this so dark? And he said to me, clear as day, because it's a storm. And when he said that to me, I had a knowing that what he was saying transcended out of the moment that we were in on this water as he's standing on the water and I'm walking towards him it transcended into my life like everything I've been going through being on this earth being under the captivity of this earth because that's what we're in basically we're in a type of captivity right now God's people because we don't have our own land and everything like that but there's a greater captivity that's coming And this vision was just showing me again how everything that we've been going through is because we're in a storm. And that's why it's so dark. Amen. And as I'm talking, I'm remembering that I did a video recently talking about how we see through a glass darkly, how everything is dark. And I didn't even put that together till I started talking right now. But yeah, that's why we see things darkly too, because of the storm. That's what this vision was telling me. It's a veil over our eyes. And then with everything that we've been going through, all the demonic attacks and all of that as well can cause things to not appear as clear. Like, how can I explain this? Like the kingdom of darkness fights against the church and they're fighting against us for a reason to fight against us behaving more as children of God, manifesting more as children of God. And that requires light, that requires sight, that requires visions, dreams, insight from the Lord, revelations, amen, understandings of God's word, understandings of the direction of the church and things of this nature. 
So there's a darkness with all of the demonic attacks as well is what this vision was also teaching me. And also it was showing how much I've been going through because I felt that as well, that God was like, you're in a storm. Amen. And the good thing about storms is they do pass. They don't last forever. So praise be to God for that in Jesus name. Anyway, I pray this blesses you all. God bless you. Bye.